Good evening. On, Good it. evening and welcome. Gotta, we gotta we want you all to come on in and we're going to take a little bit of time just to to give you to get on in. Um, we're happy that you're here with us tonight. We're so excited. This is an excellent opportunity, an awesome opportunity to have our sister here with us today ministering um, with us. So we just want you to take some time to set your, your space up. This is dinner and conversation. We want you to be comfortable. Uh, we want God to be able to speak into your ear. We want you to be able to hear him clearly. So come on in, come on in and be blessed tonight. Hallelujah. We just want to give the women a few minutes to come on in and to get situated. We're excited about what God is going to do tonight. We believe that there's going to be a, a mighty, mighty move of God in your home tonight. So we're just excited. We're excited. Come on in. Come on in. I'm going to look at my phone and, and see what's going on. I'm on logged into Facebook. I see we have some ladies with us. Come on in. God bless you. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. We're not going to belabor the moment. And we believe the rest of the ladies will join us as the evening um, progresses. But again, I say to you, good evening. Good evening, good evening. I am Lady Kimberly Walker, and I bring you greetings from the Women's Ministry of Restoration Christian Fellowship Church, along with our pastor, the Honorable Joseph Walker Jr. And we welcome you tonight to dinner and conversation. That's a concept that uh, we didn't make it up or we didn't create it, but we borrowed it from somebody. But it was such a really great idea just to sit and just to relax with your sisters or by yourself and just to kind of commune with and fellowship with one another, um, even through typing comments in the comment section. Uh, tonight, we have a wonderful guest speaker, and we're so excited to have her. This is Prophetess Minister Carla Robinson, and she and I have been friends for a long time, and I've seen the Lord work mightily in her life. And so I'm not going to introduce her um, formally right now, but um, as you come in, come on in, come on in. Um, we're going to progress to that, um, that place where we introduce Minister Prophetess Carla. Now, each year around this time, exactly this time, the women's ministry of RCF, along with our sisters in the community, we uh, have women annual women's weekend. And it's always very exciting. And we always have the children uh, participate. The girls participate. We have the teens dancing. And we have the women's choir and women's praise team. And we always have a wonderful speaker to come in. And it's just a wonderful time. But we know that this year, because of the pandemic, we were not able to to do what we wanted to do but we believe that in spite of it all yeah. God is still moving by his spirit yeah. and we do believe that he has given us a creative way um, in order to come together and to still speak life to one another and to still um, worship and fellowship together even if we're not in the same room and even if my sister and I have to socially distance we had masks on before we got to this six feet space yeah. but um we just knew that we needed to we needed to still worship together. We needed to still fellowship together. So we're so glad that you are here tonight. Um, so as God has not ceased to be amazing and to be powerful in the midst of this season, we just ask that you open your heart tonight and just let him come in and let him do what it is that he wants to do in the space of your own home. Uh, so before we get into our discussion, and our discussion will be about prospering during the pandemic, prospering during the pandemic. And I, before you, um, before we end this this dinner and conversation tonight, we want that to have saturated your spirit that you can prosper during a pandemic, even now. And so I'm going to read to you um, the bio of Carla J. Robinson. Carla J. Robinson is the wife of Minister Glenn Robinson. While being an ordained minister herself since 2008, 
She obediently walks in her calling as prophetess while working in virtual ministry, speaking a word in due season. And her ministry is right there on Facebook that you can access and, and hear the word that God gives her, speaking a word in season. Carla currently worships and serves at Victory Christian Center Liberty Campus under the leadership of the awesome pastor and first lady, Locke and Gloria Beecham, someone who we greatly admire. Mm -hmm. Serving on the ministerial mm -hmm. staff, having served as altar team leader along with her husband. Carla has sought to empower, inspire, and educate neglected, addicted, abused women in 2007 through 2008. Along with ministering to the sick and shut-in, she is committed to serve in a serving capacity to her community for over the last 28 years with Christian youth and troubled teens at Juvenile Justice Center, while also volunteering in Operation Impact Victory Christian Center and Warren Family Mission alongside her husband doing various community services, activities, and events. Along with having 20 plus years in the healthcare industry, education, community advocacy, and motivational speaking, her vast educational studies include anatomy and physiology, phlebotomy, business, and general studies. She has attended and received various certifications from institutions as Trumbull Memorial, New Skills Academy, Bryman College, Medical College, and ASPT, which is the American Society of Phlebotomy Technicians, and ASCP, the American Society of Clinical Pathologists, while also working as an independent home health advocator for the state of Ohio with CareSource. This woman of God has... She has no idea until, I'm sure, until you put this on paper, all of the many things that you have done. That's an inspiration to us women of God. Having a commitment to education and helping others has always been a passion with her being certified phlebotomy instructor, certified life coach, and certified BLS provider and mentor. So I know that we're not in, in the congregation this, this, this evening to say, um, put your hands together for <laughs> Prophetess Carla Robinson, but I do want you to just for a moment, just extend your hand through the, the your Facebook, whatever you're looking at, your device, and just ask God to bless and use her in his service on tonight. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So we're going to start with our, our conversation. And again, we ask ladies that you would please, if you, if you want to have conversation with your sisters that are also online with you, feel free to comment in the comment section. And then if there are questions or something that you would like to ask, then later on, if we don't get to them tonight, then Prophetess Carla and myself will reach back out to you or we'll dialogue with you on this thread. So we're going to start with our questions. Now, you and I know, all of us know that this is truly an uncommon and unprecedented time yeah. that we are living in. Um, sometimes uh, we as believers uh, are kind of taken off guard by everything that's going on um, in our daily lives. We find ourselves absent from being able, many of us are not in the sanctuary every Sunday like we were. So we find ourselves absent from the sanctuary. We find ourselves not able to connect with the sisterhood that we were once connecting with. Um, even some of us are working remotely. So those who we were working with and building relationships with on our jobs, we are not able to connect with them like we were. So things are quite different. Things are very different. Yeah. But my question to my sister tonight is, how do we as believers prosper or thrive in the midst of a pandemic? Well, first of all, um, Lady Kim, Pastor. First of all, Pastor, Lady Kim, thank you for having me. Oh, Praise God. God. Bless you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. I'm honored. I'm excited uh, to be amongst the women of God. Uh, we're not, act, like she said, not able to uh, be in a building together, but we could touch each other with our love mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. prayers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So uh, uh, Lady Kim is asking, how do we prosper in the midst of a pandemic? Mm -hmm. I want to first of all say, 
I believe that repentance is in order for our nation, Jesus, for our cities, for our churches. I believe that repentance is in order. As we know, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just not an argument at all. Our country is truly off track Jesus. and have left God. So I would say the first thing is that we really need to repent before God. We need to search ourselves in this season. And I believe, uh, Lady Kim, that God is requiring his people yeah. because this is, you know, directed toward us. Yeah. And I believe that God is requiring his people to do some self-examination in this season. Amen. You know, and Amen. I believe that, you know, just on Sunday, I, I want to throw this in. I heard... Uh, at least two pastors repenting for the nation and repenting Jesus. and asking God if they had a part in whatever has gone wrong. They were repenting before God. And I believe that God is saying that repentance is in order in this season for his people. Afterwards, I believe that once again, we, sh we should do some soul searching. The scripture said to examine yourself mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. if you be in the faith. And he also said in his word, if we would judge ourselves, then we wouldn't be judged. Oh yes, you yes. know, meaning that we shouldn't walk in pride and always tell ourselves that it's all right with us, mm -hmm. you know, while we uh, reach over to judge our Christian brothers and sisters. But uh, Pastor, Ki Pastor Lady Kim, I want to uh, share uh, from the book of Chronicles, those who care to go to the scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, this is First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And um, I'm going to speak a little bit about the Issachar anointing. Uh, it, it says in the scripture, I'm going to read one scripture. It says, um, and the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their command. I want to say this was a time when it was King David's time to be king. It was Saul's time to go off the scene, and it was King David's time to be king. Well, here you had all the tribes going up to support David. Mm -hmm. But I want to bring out uh, Issachar, you know, uh, the, the sons of ja Jacob blessed all of his sons. Let me just give a little bit of history here. Right. Uh, he blessed all of his sons, and the blessing of Issachar, which, you know, to first hear it, it doesn't sound like a blessing, but his blessing was to serve his brethren. And then he would be rewarded by God. So the name Issachar means man of reward. Mm. Praise be to God. Amen. So this was a time when David uh, was to be made king. And the scripture said that they had knowledge and they understood what it, they knew what Israel should do. So there were several tribes that went up and uh, uh, Pastor Kim, uh, if you read the, some of the numbers, they, it was as high as I believe uh, uh, 6,800 6, 6, and even greater numbers of the tribes of men of war that was going up to defend David. Mm -hmm. But there was division amongst them because some of them, they just didn't know what to do. So some of them was mm -hmm. divided. They were divided in their decision. But the tribe of Issachar, they were not divided because mm -hmm. they knew God's law. They had something that most of the tribes didn't have, and that was wisdom from God and discernment. They had studied God's law. The question is the question that uh, Lady Kim is asking is how do we prosper mm -hmm. in, in a pandemic? We need to pray, I believe, for this type of anointing. Mm -hmm. We need to go before God and ask God what it is we should do. You know, Good. some Christians, you know, you can see uh, it, it's such a struggle because not only, you know, were we hit with the pandemic and then, you know, the racism seemed to have escalated like never before. Yeah. So we are, as you said, we are in we're in uncharted waters. We are in a, a, a situation that we never dreamed that we would be in. Yes, but yet as God's people, we have to find a way to continue to look to God. Yes. And so it, uh, the children, the uh, tribe of Issachar, they possess this anointing of wisdom and discernment. OK, according to the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they were the fewest in numbers. So this tells us, mm -hmm. you know, through our obedience and seeking God's word, it doesn't matter whether or not we're few in numbers. Yes. He will still give us understanding. Praise God. So they yes. were all going up to support David. 
And in the beginning of the year uh, at our ministry, we received four words. And I'd like to share that on tonight, uh, Pastor Kim. This is what I believe this is for the entire body of Christ. And I believe I, I, I have, you know, uh, uh, permission from the Holy Spirit. And I don't think my pastor would mind. But I want to share these four words. The first word that God had given our pastor uh, in January was realignment. Okay, meaning God is repositioning us and he's making necessary adjustments for the body of Christ. And God had given me a vision uh, just the other night. I saw a vision. uh, You know, when when God gives you a vision, sometimes you can't you just have to do the best you can when you're trying to explain it. But what I saw was I saw God stepping in. There was an order set up Mm. of how man had set it up do that yeah do that am i okay praise the lord i i um i saw a vision of um god there was an order set up and god i saw god walk in and change that order and set his order up Mm -hmm. and i believe in this season that god is setting his order up Mm -hmm. as bad as it may seem because god is preparing us lady kim Uh, to leave this earth the word of God said that the ends of the ages are upon us we are the generation that the ends of the ages are upon so getting back to these words that these four uh, words of instruction that was given to us in the beginning of the year uh, the second word was new assignment Mm. Uh, this is the work of the Lord in this season it's what we are called to do it is our mission made clear Mm. And I want to and say Jesus. that God is making our mission clear, people of God, women of God, in yes. this season. And you might have even been one that felt insignificant before the pandemic. You might have been one that felt that you didn't have a calling from God or you, you, don't, you didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. But I want to encourage you to seek the Lord in the midst of this pandemic. Yes. And it is possible for us to oh, prosper. Yeah. Why do I know it's possible for us to prosper? Because I know people that are prospering and I know that I'm prospering. Amen. Amen. The word prospering, you know, it, it means to you, you're moving forward and you're succeeding. Mm-hmm. The scripture said that the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence and the violent yes. take it by force. Yes, this means that the kingdom of God is forcefully advancing Jesus. and they that lay hold on it is forcefully advancing. Mm. So we must lay hold on the Hallelujah. kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now the scripture said that the kingdom of God is within us. Mm. Glory be to God. Glory to God. His God. kingdom lives within us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Mm-hmm. In this season, we must seek the Lord. And I want to encourage each and every one of us to pray for such an anointing that rested upon the sons of Issachar. The third word that God had given our leader was addition. And God is adding to us as we seek to live in his presence. Uh, It's it's just going to be difficult if we as Christians think that we could take another way uh, other than getting in God's presence and seeking his face. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's going to be difficult, mm-hmm. and you'll 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 be kind of like um, you'll be kind of like bl- a blind man, and you'll be kind of like trying to feel your way and trying to get your answers from other people. Yeah. Now, yeah. God has set up leaders, and He mm-hmm. said in His Word, He'd give us pastors after His own heart. Yes. Excuse me while I take a sip of water. Yes. Glory to God. This is good. This is good. Thank you. He said that he would give us pastors according to his own heart Mm -hmm. and that he have kept his promise on. But, you know, it is not for us to leave all to to leave everything upon the backs of our leaders. We as Christians have a part to play. He said in his word, if we would come after him to deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow him. So, see, we have our our pastors and leaders are set there for a guide Mm -hmm. to point us Mm -hmm. to the way. But it is up to us as individuals to seek God in this season. And, you know, Pastor uh, uh, Lady Kim, you have so so much, um, you know, people are blaming, you know, uh, our our, uh, uh, government officials, you know, 
the president, this, that, and the other, one another. There, people are attacking each other. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just a, a lot of chaos going on. But I believe that the people of God can have peace and prosper yes. in the midst of a pandemic, yes. providing we do what God uh, is expecting of us to do. Say that last part again, providing. Providing we do what God has a sign and expecting yes. us to do Help us, God. and has commissioned us to do. Amen. So I, I said my word, new assignment. Don't let me get, okay, yes. An addition, God, I'm on addition, excuse okay. me. God is adding to us as we seek to live in his presence and to do his will. God is pouring out his spirit. He said that he would do it. He said in the last days he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. Yes. Said Hallelujah. your sons and your Thank daughters you, shall Jesus. prophesy. Yes. I said, your sons and, and your daughters your shall prophesy. prophesy. Glory, to God. Glory be to God. So those of us who are God's children, we've made a covenant with him. We've decided to serve him. Yes. He said he would pour out his spirit on us. Yes. And if you know how good God is, you can claim that for your children and the generation after your children yes. and the generation after that generation, yes. because God said it in his word. Yes. So addition, God said he is adding to us as we seek to live in his presence and to do his will. Now, it would be kind of hard not to desire God's will if I'm living in his presence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I say I've been in God's presence, but I'm doing something different from, you know, what it would be. If his presence was on me, then that would make you wonder, Pastor Kim, because yes. I can't very well live in God's presence and not be affected by his presence. That's good. Glory be to God. That's good. It is the effective ability of God to do it through us. Yes. We have been anointed people of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have been anointed and charged by God in this season. Yes. God wants us to prosper in this season. Yes. And we understand that the uh, the uh, with the virus, uh, the the disease, they said how high the rates are getting, and we know uh, a lot of people are no longer um, among us, but we are here today. Those of us that are still here today, mm -hmm. the word of God is speaking loud and clear to us. Yes. The fourth word that God gave our leader, and this once again was in January, it was distribution. Mm. It, 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 God told me that uh, as we're, we're going to be giving out to others as God gives to have given to us. It is also meaning a new assignment. This is the same definition. And freely we have received, we, freely we should give yes. according to the word of God. Yes. So prospering in a pandemic, we have a responsibility. Yes. And anyone that you know that is rich or prosperous, they have put in the footwork. Yes. You know, some were born into riches, make no mistake about it. But if they don't be diligent, they can lose that. Yes. OK, yeah. so we have to put in the footwork. What is the footwork? The footwork is prayer and fasting and seeking the face of God mm -hmm. and being in a line with his holy will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. And we have to be about our father's business right now. And I know yes. that um, and that was awesome. That was excellent. I know a lot of times we look at prosperity as um, things yeah, uh, tangible things, um, mm -hmm. monetary gain. And it's not that we don't have those needs because a lot of people have lost their jobs in yeah, the midst absolutely. of this pandemic. Absolutely. And there has been financial um, issues that have come even amongst us as believers. Um, however, the scripture says that if we seek first the kingdom yes. of God and his yes. righteousness, then all those things will be added. And what I hear you saying, prophetess, is um First things first. first things That's first. what I hear you saying, Absolutely. that there's no reason why we don't prosper yes. in the midst of a pandemic because we are the head yes. and we're not the tail. We're we are above tail. only, the scripture says, mm -hmm. and we're not beneath. And so I thank you for that that word because it kind of it kind of, you know, like when you're. I don't know if you guys have ever, you, you're probably younger, all 33 of you that are on here today. <laughs> but but back in the day when I was a kid, I used to go to Idora Park. And um, what I loved about Idora Park was driving on Hooterville Highway, if anybody can remember that. 
what I loved about it was because I was a kid and I didn't have driver's license, so right. I didn't know how to drive, but there was something in between, a track in between. So if I would go too far left, the track would pull me back. If I went too far right, the track would pull right. me back. So what I hear you saying is that right now God has us on a track on where a he's track. giving us an opportunity yes. to straighten out and to get mm-hmm. back in the place that he's that called he's us, to, us be. to be individually yes. and as a body and as so a body. thank you woman of god Amen. awesome awesome Amen. and in the midst of being impacted by everything that's going on around us you know um there's this t-shirt that i had uh, my sister minister belinda boykin make me when i was going through um an issue w- with my body mm-hmm. when i had sickness in my body and i needed god to heal me yes. and um it was faith over fear And so that was also a part of the theme of restoration for 2020, Faith Over Fear. fear. Mm -hmm. And so um, I wore that shirt to every medical appointment that I went to because I needed to, not that that shirt had any power, but I needed to be reminded Reminded. that fear was going to try to creep in, but I needed to have faith over fear. Mm But how do we as believers get to the place in the midst of everything that's going on around us and how difficult some people are having it because loved ones have have gone on Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been a little bit difficult for for many of us. How do we get to the place where our faith literally overtakes our fear? Yes. Well, you know, let me be real. I must confess that through this pandemic, You know, I kind of was hoping and kind of thought that it would be over by now. Mm. But, you know, fear has tried to grip me. You know, uh, and how I have been sustaining uh, Lady Kim, you know, is through prayer. And I think we all as Christians, we we must have a place and a time where we meet the Lord. The scripture declared that God has not given us the spirit of fear. But he has given us a spirit of power, the spirit of love in the spirit of a sound mind. So whenever we find ourselves being overtaken by fear, you know, we kind of have to kind of check ourselves and Mm -hmm. see where we are, you know, with God. And and I'm thinking, you know, just reminded of when Peter wanted to walk on water with Jesus and Jesus uh, told him to come. He said, Lord, if that's you, allow me to come. And he began to uh, take his eyes off and get distracted by the storms and what was going on around him, and he began to sink. So it would be very Mm -hmm. easy in this season for the for us as people of God to really sink into a state of fear and even into a state of confusion. But, you know, I believe through standing God's presence and and maintaining a prayer life, it is Mm -hmm. so very important in this season. You must yes, have ma'am. a prayer life. Yes, it would be hard. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a married woman, so it would be hard, you know, for me to, you know, declare my love to my husband if every day he came home from work and I was never there. It would be hard mm-hmm. for him to believe that. So we must, you know, t- w- in order to make it through, we must maintain, maintain a prayer life. You know, uh, Lady Kim, G- before Jesus even chose the apostles and he chose them out of the disciples, mm-hmm. he, he prayed all night mm-hmm. before he even chose the disciples. The scripture said that he prayed all night long and before he chose them. Yeah. And we are in a season that is so important to have a prayer life so that you can block fear. Yes, and the word of God tells us in Ephesians chapter six, he says to put on the whole armor yes. of God because we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. Mm-hmm. We are wrestling mm-hmm. against spiritual wickedness in high places, mm-hmm. principalities. We are wrestling against, wrestling against wickedness. We know that the enemy is even working in secret places. Jesus. But he said to put on the belt of truth, yes. first of all. Yes. And this is knowing what Jesus done for us on the cross knowing that he died to save us from our sins and that he has prepared a better place for us. He said to put on the breastplate of righteousness, Mm -hmm. which is this is what we cover our hearts, which is mean it's a shield for us. It covers us, you know, which is prayer. This is these are Mm -hmm. this is speaking of our spiritual, uh, our spiritual, how we dress. Mm -hmm. He says to uh, to put on the breastplate of righteousness, cover your heart with prayer, examine your heart. 
Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Yes. Make sure that your heart is in right standing with God. You know, we, you know, Lady Kim, <clears throat> we might all be guilty sometime of churching it with something in our heart. My God. You know, nobody knows if unforgiveness is in my heart. Right. And I can have a smile on my face. I could be speaking in tongues. I could be and shouting. Yeah. But God knows our hearts. Yeah. And he said that the heart is desperately wicked. Yeah. So when our heart is out of line with God, it's, it's easier. We're more susceptible to fear, mm -hmm. and especially in this season. Yeah. And I don't believe that. <clears throat> I understand surprise, and I get that. We didn't know it was coming. Uh, but I, I believe that we were prepared. And even when, when – um, these were words that the pastor had spoken in January. And God, um, when I was asked to um, minister last Wednesday, God, I had packed that away. <laughs> you know, after you, you know, you, you, you go to church and you write your notes out and you go over them in church. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you pack them away mm -hmm. with all your Bibles and what have you. And I'm there and all of a sudden the Lord tells me to go back and get these four words mm -hmm. that was spoken in January. And what the Lord opened up to me, God was preparing us then. Mm -hmm. You know, he was preparing us. And if we were those that were in prayer and seeking God's face and striving to live a Christian life, mm -hmm. you know, we, uh, we were prepared. Yeah. We were prepared to go through this season, and we have what it takes yeah. in the word of yes. God. Yeah. And he said, to, he said to take the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Yes. And, yes. you know, in war, in the Bible days, they, they, their shield would be wet. So when the fiery arrow would come, mm -hmm. the water would put the fire out. Yes. Glory to God. So he said to take the shield of faith. He said to take the hammer of salvation, which means, you, you know, you would cover your mind. Once again, cover your mind in prayer. Take yes. on the mind of Christ. Yes. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We should have the mind of Christ, which is prayer, oh which God. is fasting, which is seeking the face of God. And then above all, he says, <clears throat> take the sword of the spirit, which is the, the word, word of, of God. God praying always with all prayer and supplication for the saints and praying for the saints is one thing that I believe that God would have us to do in the time of the pandemic, because you know, some of our Christian brothers and sisters, they might not be strong as some that have been, you know, fortified in prayer, right. but it's not for us to pass judgment That's on right. them or look our nose down on them or as if we are wonderful. Cause right. we need to understand that no, nobody's wonderful, but Jesus. And we were once. And we were once say it mm -hmm. we were once yes so the prayer life that i have now i didn't always have it Amen. i had an on the go prayer life all right okay just bless me lord keep me lord mm -hmm. and then now I lay me down to sleep <laughs> but now i strive every day to live in god's presence yes ma'am. so living in god's presence and maintaining a prayer life lady kim this will combat that fear if you ever notice when you've been in god's presence you just take on a, a, a just a boldness, yeah. just a righteous yeah. boldness, and it's kind of yeah. like, well, I know God got me. I'm, yes. I'm not even worried about it. But you, you can, we can always gauge ourselves if fear is overtaking us. Uh, this is a strong indication that we are not on our post. Okay, that's a good word. Okay, if fear yes, is over, why? Because God didn't give it to us. Right, right. So if I'm carrying a bag of fear, where did I get it right. from? Right, that's right. What have, I, what have I been entertaining? What have I been entertaining? Yeah. Because God good. didn't give it to that's us. That's right. Okay. So where is my power and my love and my mm. sound mind? That's good. Praise be to God. So ladies, we must uh, develop a strong prayer life and start where you are. Yes. Start where yes. you are. You know, because we, you know, we grow at, you know, God takes us as we grow. He says to uh, desire the sincere milk of the word. Yes. And he also said to lay aside the sin and every weight that will be easy, so easily beset us. Yes. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Yes. So as we look to Jesus and as we stay in his presence, you know, fear can't readily come in. That's right. And, you know, Lady Kim, let me say uh, here in, in my closing with this question, you know, I was thinking on the scripture when he said that he gives his angels charge over us mm -hmm. to keep us in all, all of our ways. Yes. And, you know, um, I, I just, this came to me so clear. I was, you know, the enemy, you know, he will literally trespass on your mm -hmm. thoughts. Yes. Because the word said that he's the prince of the power of the air. Yes. You know, for the time that God has allotted him. Mm -hmm. 
but we know that God owns the enemy. Hallelujah. Yes. And so I was thinking, I, I, the enemy was throwing things at my mind because, see, this is also, this is why it's so important, uh, people of God, because these evil uh, spirits in the, in the atmosphere, you know, they will try to become one with you. That's good. Okay. That and I thought, good. I said, God, mm -hmm. He does. The mm -hmm. enemy is trespassing. Mm -hmm. He does not have free access right. to my spirit. Right. Because you said you give your angels charge over to right. me, over me to keep me right. in all my ways of mm -hmm. obedience and service mm -hmm. unto you. Mm -hmm. So I have the authority and the power. I have the authority to rebuke the spirit yes. of fear, yes. to rebuke in any spirit that's trying to become Jesus. one with my psyche. Yes. Because I, I have my mind stayed on Christ. Yes. And I'm one with God. Yes. So when when this happens. This is why your spirit gets so troubled and so overwhelmed yeah. because your spirit recognizes that something is off and awkward oh and this is not to be because right. we, are, we are citizens of the kingdom. Yes, we are. So when the enemy come in with this spirit, the spirit of fear, yes. if you ever tune in, your spirit is like, what, what, yes. what's going on here? Yes. Okay, yes. because this is not what God is saying. Yes. So I begin to, mm. I learn to say, God, whatever voice that's trying to speak in my yes. atmosphere, that's not the Holy Spirit. Yes. Lord, I curse, bind, and cast in it out. In the name of the Lord Because Jesus. this, you are not sending this. And God has no equal and no rival. That's He's right. just God. No equal and no rival. Okay. So we have the That's power good. through Hallelujah. him to cast yes. out the spirit, of, the spirit of fear. But see, the word of God said that, um, if you need to cut me off, cut me off. Okay. The word of God said that uh, the children of Eph that God gave me this word recently, the, the children of Ephraim being armed, they turned back in the day of battle. Mm. But see, the reason why they, they, they were equipped, they had what they needed. They were skilled mm -hmm. in using the bow, but they, they, uh, they turned back because they were out of their place with God. My God. Okay. The scripture said that they, mm -hmm. they refused to walk in his mm -hmm. covenant. Mm -hmm. They, they had, uh, they, they forgot what God had done for them. So they left some of the ways of God. Yes. And so when the enemy uh, came after them, they had been given their assignment. And that was to gather with the other, uh, th with their other brethren and to fight the enemy. Mm -hmm. But see, when we are, when we cast off uh, uh, the, the, our garment of prayer and, and fasting and seeking God, yes. then we begin to mistake one another for the enemy. Jesus. At a time when we should wow. be fighting and pulling and holding on to one another in mm -hmm. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I was, you know, this came to my spirit. You know, you could lose your marriage in this season. Yeah. You could lose your yeah. family. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, material things, you know, <clears throat> you know, that that's okay. Yeah. But we want to hold on to what God gave us yes. that's precious before yes. that. <clears throat> excuse me, before the pandemic, but this is how the enemy is really trying us. And what his temptation is, is to get us to look away from prayer yeah. so that we can take on that spirit yeah. of fear yeah. and not prosper in this yeah. hour. So look away from that and focus on what the enemy is trying to do. Yeah. But if you, you, you know how you feel so strong when you are in God's presence. Yes. And I yes. was telling my husband, I said, we can't even leave the house in the morning without praying first. That's right. Because the enemy That's has right. turned up the heat yes, in this season. He has. But I'm telling you, we have the victory in yes, Christ we Jesus. Yes, we and do. we are more than conquerors yes, through do. him that loved us yes, and do. gave himself for us. Yes. Amen. That's good. Now, wherever you're at, you need to give God a praise for that word. Um, I heard an acronym before, and I'm going to try to get it right. Fear is false evidence is appearing, appearing real. real. Like and it. faith is forsaking all i trust him i love it so we're gonna it. put our trust in god and yes. I, I love what you said because a lot of times we think that it's us mm -hmm. we're speaking and really it's the enemy that has convinced us mm -hmm. um he has continued we have allowed him we have given him space because anytime mm -hmm. yes. we don't spend time in the presence of god anytime we're not praying and consecrating ourselves unto god we give the enemy space because we are spirit we are soul and we are body mm -hmm. so that we give the enemy space in that realm to begin to speak in our ear mm -hmm. and before we know it we believe, prophetess, this is my thought. These are my thoughts. And when you meditate on something day and night, yes. it becomes a part of who you are. Yes. Yes. You see what Absolutely. I'm saying? And so yes. then we embrace that fear. But glory to God in yes. the highest, the word that you have given us on tonight. God has is it's helping us, sisters. If it's helping you, come on and throw up some hearts. I'm looking God at my phone. 
uh, my, my social media page. Throw up some hearts because we want to be women of God who walk by faith not by sight, yes. because what you see can sometimes cause you to fear. Yes. But stay in God's word. His word is a lamp unto our feet, and it is a light unto our pathway. And this is not the time, nor is this the season, to slack off. Amen. This is Amen. not the time nor the season to get lazy. And even yes. though you're not in the house, mm -hmm. you know, well, some of us are back into our, our churches and, and maybe we're, we're going uh, on Sunday mornings and some of us are not back in our churches, but things are different. Yes. So we really have to amp it up mm -hmm. in our own individual um, prayer life. Yes. yes. God bless you, prophetess. Yes. Praise God. Praise and there God. may be someone tonight, and, and we've talked about the battle, you know, that perhaps is going on in a lot of, a lot of us, you know, a lot of our thoughts. Um, we've never seen anything like this before, so we don't have a frame of reference. We don't have anything to compare it to. Um, there may be someone watching tonight um, that, or may look at this during the replay um, and may feel that it's hard for them to keep a fire burning because many of us, if we were attending church on a regular basis, we th this could possibly have been traumatic, right. <laughs> you know, and right. I believe in many homes and many mm -hmm. lives, this has been traumatic. Mm -hmm. um, and so t I want you to answer this question with so many changes that have gone on and, and, how difficult many of us have been experiencing life. Mm -hmm. um, how do we maintain our passion for God and our pursuit for his will and his purpose for our lives in a season where it is no longer church as usual? Yes. Well, first of all, uh, Pastor Kim, you know, when, when this, when it really hit me that, you know, we're actually, you know, this is actually happening to the point where, the churches, you know, had to be altered in a sense because we have to obey the laws of the land, Amen. you know. Amen. And when it really, you know, because I was, uh, from the time I was a teenager and got, you know, uh, became born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, I absolutely love going to church. Amen. You know, something about the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I would always pray, um, you know, I would think about the prophetess Anna uh, when mm -hmm. she, uh, it says she served God in the yes. temple day and night. Yes. And I would always pray that prayer years ago. I would always say, God, help me serve you in your temple day and night. Yeah. So in my heart and in my spirit, you know, it was just so important to me, you know, going to the house of God. And the word said to uh, forsake not the assembling of yourself That's together. Right. The word That's said right. that. That's the word. Well, look at God. He has yet made a way for uh, he is using technology yes. for his word to go yes. forth. Yes. Okay, so he has not missed a beat, but it would be important is, is, is important for us in this time. Look at look inwardly now mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and make sure that you have a one on one with God, Amen. because, you know, in, in times past, you know, we, you know, I think I, I think that, you know, the church and some areas have in some uh, areas have um, kind of put the responsibility upon the leaders upon the pastors mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. see what God is saying to, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, whatever's coming over the pulpit, that's what I'm going to take. Yes. But if we are born again, we, we need a one-on-one -on -one with God that's and right. he wants one with us. That's right. In fact, he wants a one-on-one -on -one with you more than you want it for yourself. That's right. Okay. So I, I'm saying look inwardly, you know, uh, make it about you and God now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we see that the word of God is being live streamed every Sunday yes. through the week yes. and, and God bless each and every pastor who yes. will be rewarded uh, by God. And the Bible says that uh, the faithful shepherds in the land that, that are trying to hold it down in this yes. pandemic to make sure that the sheep are being fed Jesus. Yes. And, and to be, you know, being the under shepherd of God, they're going to be rewarded because in God's word is yet going forth, but we have a part to play. It is up to us to trust God. You know, yes. even if you are a babe in Christ, you know, and if you don't feel you're strong enough, reach out to someone that you Amen. know that is strong Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Reach out to the lady, uh, people like Lady Kim and Pastor uh, Joe Walker. Reach out to people like that. Call the church for prayer. You know, um, we, we are helpers one of another. And That's there's right. been times, you know, I have women of God in my life, you know, that I have to reach out to. Amen. You know, even That's though right. I'm a mentor and I feed a lot of people, 
a lot of people, you know, come to me, you know, they, they want me to pray. And, um, you know, they don't, they don't uh, ask me, well, are you going through anything? Mm -hmm. They're in trouble and they need help. So they, yes. they know you to be a praying yes. person. So they're expecting you to pray. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when you feel you in a weak state, I, I don't mind. I've been saved a long time, but I don't mind calling you. Mm -hmm. I, I have anointed sisters in my bloodline. Uh, uh, I have a pastor in my bloodline. So I don't mind reaching out, asking someone to pray for me mm -hmm. when I don't, mm -hmm. when I don't feel my, my spiritual strength. So yes. it, you, you can maintain, you can yet stay strong. And it, and it is important uh, for us to uh, continue to, you know, uh, thrive in God and to keep our passion for God, yes. you know, because that would mean that if we can't keep our passion in this season well then what were we serving him for will we only serve him in Jesus. the good times yes that's okay good. because that's it's good. not always going to be because he said even in this world you shall have tribulations yes. he said be of good cheer for i've overcome the world and I, I i i think that the church should you know uh we should strive more and more to adopt the mentality that this is not my home that's right Okay, so right. Lady Kim, I have to search myself, and I was thinking on this the other day because there's some things that I really want to see happen, mm -hmm. you know, for myself, for my family members, for my loved ones. Uh, I want I want God to use me to touch the world for Him. Mm -hmm. But you know, I was thinking on this. Uh, the scriptures in, in the Book of Revelation, uh, uh, it toward the end it says, "Even so, come, Lord Jesus." So I begin to search and say. Well, if there's nowhere in me that I can say, even so, come, Lord Jesus. My God. Well, am, well, well what's wrong? Right. Okay, am I being overtaken by the mm. lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life? Jesus. If there's nothing in me that can say, even so, come, Lord Jesus. That's good. That's good. So, God, I, I, I begin to really search that out because this is not my home. Mm. We are passing through That's here. That's right. And, and um, you know, th God said in his word that he's going to finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. Mm. So we are the ones that the ends of the age is upon. And he said to watch and watch, therefore, because, you know, neither the day nor the hour yes. when the when the son when of man, man shall, shall, shall appear. Right. That's right. OK, but it shouldn't take us uh, uh, by surprise because we should we should already be obeying God's word mm -hmm. and seeking him. And I'll tell you, Lady Kim, and I don't believe I'm the only one. I have more of a love and a passion for God in this pandemic. Yes. And yes. I want you to know, because I found myself being so desperate. It's, it's like there, there was nobody that can tell us, uh, you know when and how and nobody can tell us when it's going to stop right only god right. only god so, knows. so this should suggest to us that we need that one-on-one -on -one with god yes we need to be praying for our pastors yes as you know because they're taking the hardest hit we this is not the hour for us to judge them right <clears throat> you know make a god out of them right. and then when it doesn't go our way we judge them right it's right. for us to keep them in prayer right because i can only imagine what, what pastors are dealing with yes. in this season yes. to yes. keep the flock of God yes. in a season because truth be told, you know, some people probably won't come back to the local body, yes. you know, yes. even yes. after the pandemic, yes. you know, but I, I, but God is good. You know, we pray that they do, but <clears throat> you know, God is good. And um, he's made a way for us to hear his word. Yes. You yes. know, and he yes. he's he's still adding to us. He's still blessing us. He's still pouring out of his out of his spirit. He's still working miracles. Yes. He's still healing. Yes. He's still doing all these things to declare that he is still God. Yes. And even in devastation in the Bible days, you know, God's people turn, you know, it, Israel, no matter how bad they would do when God, when devastation would come, mm -hmm. they always knew to run to God. They always knew, they always knew mm -hmm. to return, mm -hmm. not that they would stay very long, you know, right. and God said that their hearts was always backsliding from him, yes. but yes. they always knew and how merciful God was. Yes. He would always take them back yes. and he would always bless them. Yes. So even if you have backslidden in this season, yes. if you're listening Come on back to Come God back. and ask for back. your passion back and be restored. I believe God is causing his people, causing us to search ourselves yes. and yes. to, you know, he's repositioning us. Yes. He's given us new assignment. Yes. I know what my new assignment is. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And if we Praise seek God. the face of God, he will let you know. And I begin, Lady Kim, I begin to ask God in this season. I begin to go back in my thoughts and in my mind. What have I done for God? Mm. You know, I know I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the precious Holy Ghost, but what have I done for God? <laughs> Who have I helped? 
My God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And I begin to say, God, you know, Lord, don't let the sun go down on me. God, I want whatever you want. You know, and I yeah. thought about how you talk about fear. I was so afraid mm -hmm. before the pandemic. God mm -hmm. would give me a word for people, and it's like, well, no, they're not going to receive me. You know, just, yeah. just fearful to step out and yeah. do what God yeah. uh, uh, was telling me to do. But in this pandemic, you know, God is really, you know, he, he said he would undertake for us. Yeah. That means that he makes himself responsible for us. Yeah. He makes himself responsible for us receiving time. eternal yes. life. He yes. makes himself responsible for us hearing and knowing yes. his voice. Yes. He said, my Glory sheep know my voice. Yes. And I know them and I give them eternal yes. life. Yes. They will not follow a stranger. That's right. He said, That's nobody right. plucks them from my hand. He said that in his word. Glory to God. So we can, you know, we can grow. I, I believe, thank you, Lord. I believe I've grown and I know that I've grown in the midst of this Prospering. pandemic. Prospering. Prospering. There pandemic. you go. In yes. a pandemic. Yes. You know, and even, you know, let me go on and put this out here. Even my shopping habits have changed. Somebody, Praise I know God. your husband is probably saying, he's Glory probably shouting right now. <laughs> But, you know, just reality hit me. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What is really important? That's it. What is really, That's what? what's it. the principal thing yes. right through here? Yes. Why am I here? Why because am I here and what should I be so doing? so many people right. that are no longer here. That are no so longer here. Since it's a reminder that our days are numbered. Come on. Come it's on. all around us. It's a reminder. It's a reminder. Then why, why Lord, am I still here? If I forgot, if I forgot Father, remind, remind me. Remind me. Of why I'm here. Of why I'm here. And I'll tell you, uh, before this pandemic, and I would never be one that would lie and say, God told me, God spoke the word pandemic to me. He didn't. But what God spoke to me, he told me to go deep in prayer. Mm -hmm. And he said it to me so, it was so um, forceful. Um, it, it was like, I thought, the rapture? Mm -hmm. It was so loud and forceful. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, but of course he said, you know, no man know the day nor the hour. Right. But right. he was, he was, he said, get deep in prayer. Something is coming. And that's how he dealt with my spirit. Mm -hmm. And I began to, he would wake me up four in the morning, three in the morning, sometimes two 30 in the morning. You know, sometime I would have to repent because I, I felt like I couldn't get up. Yeah. And then when I would finally make it to the prayer room, I would say, God, thank you for letting me come when I couldn't come on my own. Yeah. So he's so merciful. And if we are still here, yes, ma'am, we are still here. Why? We are still and here. And what, what should we be doing? But I begin to really seek God's purpose yes. in this season. Yes. And and the trick of the enemy, he, he doesn't want you to seek God's purpose. Right. He, he doesn't want you to see, uh, 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 going back to the sons of Issachar, whose name meant reward. And um, their, their anointing was originally they were to serve their brother and then be rewarded by God. Uh, but in this season, uh, God said in his word that, you know, he, he said that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yes. So we yes. should diligently seek yes. him for the anointing on what to do in yes. this season. But uh, I want to just, I, I want to say right here, he is Jehovah Gamola, the God of recompense, mm, Hallelujah. reward. So twofold recompense, you, meaning through suffering, hardship, and losses, and, and, and yet holding on to his unchanging hand. Yes. He's going to bless you. He's going to reward you. The other part of reward, he's going to reward you for your service unto him. Jesus. Service that's really coming from the heart. You know, yes. doing it at all costs. Yes. No matter what's going on in yes. the pandemic, I'm yet going to show up and minister to yes. God's people. I'm yet going to put my mask on and go and do what I need to do to yes. help uh, other people yes. to make it through. Yes. Glory Amen. to God. Glory to God. Women of God, this is this is a season. I was just thinking, prophetess, that um, when I began to work from home remotely yes. um, and a lot of people began to work from home yes. and things changed mm -hmm. around March, things really drastically right. changed. Yes, and um, we weren't coming down to the church for meetings. We weren't, um, husband and I, our date nights were at home. At home. Yes. Okay, <laughs> the, the movie theaters were closed. Right. Um, the restaurant dining in was closed. They were closing even for takeout at a certain hour. Um, mm -hmm. Things that we were normally busy doing, mm -hmm. we were no longer doing. Um, right. And so at that point I came to the realization was time some time progress, I came to the realization that we have been given a gift. Yes. 
in the midst of something that nobody wants. We don't no we one. don't want this. We wish that this, you know, would go, would go away. Yeah. But we have been given the gift of time to realign ourselves with the realign. purpose yes. that God has placed upon our lives. Mm -hmm. um, it's the time is now. Yes. Now, we don't know when we're not going to be here any longer. Exactly. You know, yeah. we don't know on, when yeah. God is coming back for yes. us. Yes. Um, but God in all his, his mercy, his loving kindness, in my word for this season is his compassion. compassion. In his yes. compassion, he has given us time and space to get it to right, get it right. Okay. to find out um, what lies in us because uh, every woman of God that is watching today mm -hmm. and those who watch the replay, there is excellence in you. There is a call on your yes. life that yes. is not less significant than the call on any other yes. sister's life. I mean, yes. God knew you before you were created in yes. your, your mother's womb and he called you. Yes. He called you. And so now is the time for us to yes. really come to terms with what did he call me to do? Because whatever he called me to do mm -hmm. and whatever he called you to do, he has equipped you. Mm -hmm. He's equipped us mm -hmm. and he has given us what we need to accomplish that. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. prophetess. I'm just going to turn it back over to you if you wanted to um, to pray or whatever yeah. you would like to do. And we are we have four minutes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know, what's on my heart right now? I want to ask those that are watching. And Lady Kim, uh, Lady Kim and I, will, we're, we're social distancing, but we're going to pray together. And, mm -hmm. and I want to just offer prayer for our, our city, our state, and our nation. We just want to come together. The Word of God did say that fearful signs will be coming up on the earth in these last days yes. and men's heart failing them for fear. But, you know, see that you be not troubled, people of God. Amen. So let's just have a few, uh, 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 just a moment of prayer. Thank you. Father, we just bless you right thank now. You we God. praise you. We give you glory and thank honor. You, we thank you for this hour. Yes, Father. Father God, a time in spa a space and time yes, that God. we were blessed by you to come together yes, and to speak to your people. Hallelujah. God, we pray for our city, thank our you, state, Jesus. and yes, our we nation, God. Father, God, that we, we would turn God. back to you. We, we repent, God. God. We you repent whatever our part was, God, in yes, it, God. that we did not do your will, yes, Father, that wherever we have gone off track, God. Yes, we God. repent, Father, yes, of God. anything, God, that yes, wasn't God. like you. Thank and we you, ask, Jesus. Father God, today thank that you God. would turn this nation back to yes, God. God. Turn yes, our states God. back yes, to God. God. We want you to remove the pandemic. Yes, we God. know that you are God. Uh, you are a righteous judge and yes, you know God. just when. Yes, but it is God. our desire, God, that you would move it, that you cause yes, your God. people which are called by your name yes, to God. humble thank ourselves you, and Jesus. pray. Yes, Seek God. thy face. Turn from our wicked ways. You said you would hear from heaven yes, you would Lord. heal the land you, you would forgive, forgive our sins yes. we know that you're soon thank to come you, and we thank want you, to be Lord, ready when Lord, you come God. we pray for the yes, saints of God. God we pray that souls will be saved yes, in this God. hour thank bodies you, to be healed Hallelujah. we pray for the broken hearted yes, today God. God we need you like we've never yes, needed Father. you God yes, help us God. go back to prayer God yes, help us go back yes, to fasting God help us seek you like we never sought you before God God how we need you in this How hour. We, we ask Father. these blessings, God, you, in the master's name of Jesus. You, for Christ's sake, we pray. Amen. 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 Bless God. And I truly, I feel the presence of God. Thank you, God. And if you feel the presence of God in Help your home, today. come on and just throw up some Thank hearts. You, just Jesus. throw up some Help hearts just as a sign oh, that you God. feel God moving in your home and you believe that he is going to do for you exceeding Thank abundantly you, above all yes, that you God. can oh, ask or can think ask according to the power that is at work you, within Jesus. you. you and we rewarded, thank you. God. Thank you so much, thank prophetess. You, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the move of the Holy Spirit on tonight because though we can't see you, we just believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe that God has touched can't your hearts. Away, we believe that something said tonight somebody, um, is going to help shift us mm. all into another shift place. God is God. taking us higher. Shift He's taking us, us higher. Yes, He's taking are. us higher. 
He's taking us higher. And yes, he is pouring out his spirit. He is opening our eyes and giving us insight that we've never had before. And he's giving us time and space to commune with him Mm -hmm. so that we can get everything that he has for us before he dispatches us back to the places that he's called us to go. So we just ask that you just continue throughout this evening as we go off um, to bless God and to give him glory for what he's doing and for what he will continue to do. We love you. And again, I thank prophetess Carla Robinson, my friend who we've been friends for a number of years. We were in the same ministry together at one time. Um, I thank you so much for allowing God to use you for you availing yourself. I thank God for your husband, for his blessing for you coming tonight and for your pastor and his blessing and your first lady and her blessing. So we're just grateful that you're here and we thank you for a powerful you, word this me. evening. Um, we thank God. the the RCF women's ministry. I love you RCF women and I miss you love so you. much and I can't wait till I can hug all of yes. you um, and we can have communion and we can sit down and break bread together. Yes. Um, I can't wait to that and I'm thanking you so much for all of the support um, that you provide um, and also, we thank our pastor, uh, the, the love of my life, yes. um, for his love and for his support and for his prayer and for his guidance and for him always wanting to see the best yes. um, happen for the women's ministry and for the people of God. Um, I give I give glory to God and thank uh, Minister Miranda Howard and Minister Stacy Luton for helping and assisting tonight. I haven't seen them. Uh, they haven't seen me, but... <laughs> We, they came down to the church separately and did some things. Um, Minister Miranda made sure she decorated this table beautifully. Beautiful, um, yes. it, I feel like royalty. Yes, yes. Sitting here, and Minister Stacy made sure that we had desserts, that we had um, brownies and cheesecake, and we're just so grateful for them. Thank you so much, and to all the women of RCF, you're always so loving and supportive, and we appreciate you. Um, we thank Minister Jeremy and Brother Carrington um, for. Videotaping us tonight. I don't know if that's what you call it. Uh, filming, uh, going live, uh, whatever you're doing, you do it so well. And we just thank, thank you. you. And we also thank Minister Jeremy for the wonderful video flyer that he placed on social media. Mm-hmm. Um, we thank all of you, whether you're a part of Restoration um, or not. We thank you for coming and to uh, worship with us tonight to hear the word and to receive. Because I just just believe that your hearts were open um, to what God had to say. So we thank you. You are important to us. We love you. And before we go off, um, if you'd like to sow a seed um, into the women's ministry of RCF, by all means, um, feel free. You may sow to our cash app, which is um, dollar sign RCF 760. Again, dollar sign RCF 760. Or you can also sow to the ministry through Givelify. We are Restoration Christian Fellowship Church. We are at 760 Main Avenue Southwest, Warren, Ohio, 44483. Um, And we just want to say may God bless you. Um, May heaven continue to smile upon you. And may you continue to prosper during this pandemic. God bless you.